the Eldritch Centre was set up just a, just about five years ago. It's a charity. Uh, primarily, our main reason for setting it up was because there was no winter night shelter provision in Dover. Um, since then, we've grown quite a bit and taken on other things. Um, now, we're in the centre down at Snargate Street, uh, which we moved into just over two years ago. And again, this building is really useful for what we need uh, and what we are trying to do. So what our main purpose is really to help those who are homeless, either on the streets, rough sleeping, those in temporary accommodation, or those that are sofa surfing, to actually find a home of their own. Um, so when we took on this building, uh, we needed an awful lot of work. It was the old uh, Siemens Mission or Sailor Society, whatever it was, who'd run this building before. But we, we've taken on a lease of this building for 10 years um, with the hope of actually it extending what we do as a charity. Now, upstairs there are um, currently 17 rooms and a three bedroom flat. Um, and since we took it on in two years ago, we've actually um, put some homeless guys in those um, rooms and we're supporting them to move to a better place. So the idea is that they would only stay here for maybe two years or so um, before we can actually move them on into more settled accommodation. Uh, so that's that's our reign really, is to move people forward. We don't, we don't want to support people uh, to remain homeless or remain in the position they're in, but we want to help them forward as and when they're able to move forward. So. We have no set date when we will turf someone out because we won't turf someone out. We're a homeless charity after all, but when we would like them to move on. So we're looking at that. So this building is quite old. The, the part that we're um, in now is the newer part that was built in the 80s, uh, but the other part of the building where some of the accommodation is, is probably just over 100 years old. So um, now we have a heating system in this building, um, which we would like to up update and upgrade um, and I think it probably hasn't been upgraded for at least 30 to 40 years um, and we can have a little look at that in a minute but it does look a little bit like Trigger's broom um, in that boiler room um, so we would love support for that um, again it would help us our bills are quite high at the moment with gas and electricity and we're looking at energy efficiency as we go forward and looking at ways in which we can uh, reduce the outlay because everything we spend on the building and utilities takes away from actually spending money directly on people. Now we are a charity um, we have we're fairly lean in terms of people that we employ um, and use in this building because it's important not to waste money. People give out of their generosity and we have to be good stewards of that. Um, we also have volunteers at the moment Due, due to COVID, that's not possible, but we will again have volunteer opportunities and volunteers helping us uh, in this aspect, the outreach centre, where the, the daily drop-in, um, providing tea and coffee, doing laundry, sorting things out for our guests and our clients. As you can see, it is a little bit grim, but I guess boiler rooms always are. It, it works, I guess, is the best thing I can say about it. To be fair, we often have to reset these boilers as well, um, where the pilot lights go out and what have you. So, But again, can't moan too much. At least we have heating, which is good. This, this is the more exciting um, place to go, actually, at the minute. And um, now we do thank you guys for your help and support with the cafe. And uh, this is how far we have got so far. This is the cafe. So we're very excited about the start of the cafe. We've had to put the opening date back um, to the 3rd of um, July. And you're all very welcome to come down on the 3rd. And uh, yeah, now to see it all in action. And, uh, and we're very pleased with the amount of um, 
what it's actually turned out into and uh, we've got a few things to do still. Uh, we just recently employed a cafe manager who starts in June and um, we'll be having a few trial runs in June making sure everything's up and running, working. So no way. We are extremely pleased, excited, and uh, no, we think it'll be a great thing. Um, one thing we need to get across is that this community cafe means everyone. It doesn't mean it's specifically aimed at everyone. It's aimed at there is only one community. And hopefully we're all part of that. So please bring your friends and families down to coffees for meals. This is into the working area, the belly of the beast. And this is our kitchen. Uh, we've still got some work to do, some cookers to put in. Um, but again, it's, it'll be a really useful and functional space. Um, yeah, we had meetings with the local college this morning about um, work placements for students. Um, so this, this is going to be a place that's really good for all. And that's what we hope, that's what we're aiming to do.